Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the explode command in Rhino. And we know from the previous tutorial, uh, we can join lines together and we can also now we can also explode lines. So if you were to join some lines together, you can reverse that effect by typing explode. Um, sometimes if you're joining lines and you realize that you want to make a revision, um, you can just simply explode those lines and then you can join them at a later time. So I'm going to use the polyline command and I'm going to draw one continuous shape here. This entire shape is a closed curve and if I were to just type in explode it's going to ask which objects do I want to explode I'll select the objects hit enter and we can see that there are four separate lines here and this command can be used on multiple different objects so if we had let's say an array of objects maybe these were irregular um, land and stones and for some reason we wanted all of these curves to be separated, we could type in explode, we could select the different objects and type enter or hit enter. Now they're all different um, lines. And let's say that we want to rejoin these down the road, uh, you could just simply type in join and now all of the um, line segments are joined back together.